as a Jewish person. Antisemitism has severely impacted my life. I've been discriminated against. My family has suffered personal attacks on our property, and I have been physically attacked. People deny the suffering inflicted on our brothers and sisters during the Holocaust, and they accuse us of being more loyal to Israel than to the interests of our own nations. Jews are stereotyped, and the hate towards us is always present. No one should live in fear that someone might hurt them, just out of hate. We need to educate society, show them that being a Jew does not make you any more or less human than your neighbor. It does not make you cheap, it does not make you greedy, it does not make you evil. I started attending protests against anti-Semitism, trying to make my voice heard. The only way to combat ignorance is through education. We need to make society understand the struggle our community faces. I learned that you can fight against something if there is no agreement on what the problem is. The problem is antisemitism. Antisemitism, as defined by the International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance, is a certain perception of Jews which may be expressed as hatred toward Jews. Rhetorical and physical manifestations of antisemitism are directed toward Jewish or non-Jewish individuals and their property, toward Jewish community institutions and religious facilities. This definition should be adopted by public and private entities, such as universities, governments, and international organizations, as a tool to better understand the problem. The IHRA provides 11 examples that references modern acts of antisemitism. These acts meet all the characteristics of the definition. If society embraces this definition, it will be easier to identify an act of antisemitism, thus spotting, stand up and fight against it. Informing and training those who wish to combat it is a key factor for educating the next generation to endure against antisemitism. So everybody can live with liberty, in a safe environment and without fear for expressing themselves and their beliefs. Remember, when we ultimately respect the rights of the other, peace will thrive.